thank you very much for the opportunity to address a very important topic the ability of our federal courts the envy of the world to efficiently effectively and fairly administer justice for the people of the united states the committee has posed the question are more new judges always the answer i'm not sure i can speak to the word always but i can say without hesitation that today with more than one of ten judgeships vacant with caseloads rising rapidly and with the complexity of litigation increasing the answer to your question is yes more judges are the answer in fact we strongly concur with the judgment of the judicial conference of the united states and the chief justice of the united states that additional judges should be created in many parts of the country in order to ensure that the constitution's promise of justice is fulfilled but the need for congress to create new judgeships aside we believe the first step in resolving the crisis in our courts is to fill all the existing district and circuit court seats as of today there are ninety one total vacancies astonishingly there are more empty judgeships now than when president obama took office almost five years ago in fact just among the states that are home to members of this committee there are a total of sixty six open seats strikingly thirty four of those seats are considered judicial emergencies by the administrative office of the u s courts meaning these courts are so overwhelmed they cannot function properly this crisis has real real world consequences for real people when your constituents go to court they face a judicial system that's overburdened overworked understaffed and underfunded cases are delayed interminably decisions are rushed because of burgeoning criminal caseloads which must take priority civil actions are shoved aside small businesses can't get resolution to problems that tie their enterprises into knots contract disputes go unresolved individuals seeking justice for discrimination or fraud or disputes with banks or business or the government are left hanging often for years every american deserves his or her day in court in the circuit courts of appeals cases are bigger the stakes are higher and the consequences for all of us are more significant and that fact is doubly true for the d c circuit court of appeals there are currently three vacancies out of eleven seats on the court that is often described as the second most important court in the country the court shouldn't be forced to do its job with twenty seven percent of its seats empty it's like telling a football team they can only use eight players on sunday instead of eleven the court can ill afford to have this critical component of our judicial system send less than a full team to the game these are the facts with the unique responsibilities to oversee the actions of federal agencies the d c circuit handles some of the most complex lengthy sensitive litigation in the federal courts because of this unique caseload when there were only eight seats filled in two thousand three senator orrin hatch called this a crisis situation but in addition to the special nature of its cases the plain fact is that this court's workload has increased significantly in recent years with only eight of eleven seats filled the caseload is currently at one hundred eighty five cases per active judge in two thousand and three when john roberts was confirmed to the circuit that left one hundred eleven cases per active judge in two thousand and five the confirmation of judges brown and griffith resulted in one hundred nineteen cases per active judge even if all three seats were filled tomorrow the cases per active judge would be one hundred thirty four given the stresses on the d c circuit and the importance of its legal mission we're pleased that president obama has put forward a full slate of outstanding well qualified nominees when there were two when there were vacancies on the federal court the president is required to nominate new judges subject of course to the advice and consent of the senate 
article two section two of the constitution is crystal clear on this matter the president cannot ignore his constitutional obligations and neither should the senate mr chairman new judges whether those names to fill existing vacancies or those cho chosen to serve an entirely new seat are indeed the answer if the question we ask is will justice be done in the united states of america thank you very much thank you